What is up? <laughs> the sky. <laughs> no, um, what's up, guys? Legit Kirk here. Um, it's it's L to the E to the G I T. Uh, Mr. Kirk on the mic. Easy. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying. Um, I mean, we're playing Modern Warfare 3, obviously. What else? What else are we going to be playing? Um, well, you're not playing anything at this point. Well, you might be. I'm not. Obviously, I can't make statements like that without knowing. This is a long match ago. Um, again, the score's not very good. My standards, I've, I don't care about standards anymore because standards, they start to become expectations and expectations start to become bastards to try and keep up with. And, you know, when you've got those level of expectations, I'm not saying I have really high expectations, but I sort of have my own personal expectations, uh, my own personal standards. I'm not by any means trying to say that I'm a guy who uploads frequent high scores and I'm known for that because I'm not, I'm not known full stop, but um, on a personal level I feel like I need to upload high quality stuff, but at the end of the day I don't care anymore, no one cares anymore, um, it's all about the commentary, these, the comment, not the commentary, the commentary, the commentary, the commentary, it's all about the commentary these days, it's not so much about the gameplay, but at the end of the day it's a good gameplay nonetheless, and I just can't be bothered playing to get good games anymore. I mean, if one comes, I'll upload it. But I've just, I've sort of, I mean, I'm getting a lot of 30 and 4s, you know, 29 and 3, things like that. And that's not what I would consider to be a fantastic gameplay, something that I would usually upload in the past. But now it's like, you know, whatever, I'm just going to upload whatever the hell I feel like it. Because if I lower my standards, I'm ultimately going to have a more joyful experience uploading videos and I can probably get more out. So I'll start uploading stuff like 30 and 4s and such. Um, which I mean, I'm not trying to boast. I'm not trying to say, oh, I get them every game, because I don't. I just get them a lot more often than I would get like a, I don't know, 35 and 2 or something like that. Um, especially in Team Deathmatch. On this game in particular, Team Deathmatches seem to be over in a flash. Um, which is a little bit annoying. I wish you'd sort of raise the, raise the um, score limit. In team death matches, maybe a, like ten thousand or whatever it is. Uh, I think it's on. Is it seven thousand five hundred now? So if they put that up to ten thousand, I think that would make him a little bit better. Um, or maybe even just putting a extra long team death match game type. I'm not sure, but I do like playing team death match. Um, just not when the games are over in a matter of seconds, really. So I guess um, I guess what should we talk about? I guess I guess I guess what do I guess? I don't guess anything. Um, I don't like guessing. I never really guess because guessing can sort of lead you to false hope when you think you've got something, and you sort of guessing it, but then you haven't because there's no fact behind it. There's no nothing you can fall back on because it's 100% guesswork. So guesswork never the way to go. It's all about solid, evidential work, not guess. What am I talking about? Um. So I'm using the SCAR again, I use the SCAR quite a lot, using it with a red dot sight and a Skylancer, or a Silencer. Um, it's not even spelled like Skylancer, so I'm not sure why I said that, but Skylancer just sounds better. Um, so I'm using the SCAR L, um, and this gun is the one I've been using quite a lot, although I've started using different guns now, such as the M14 with a red dot sight, um, it's a very good gun on certain maps against a certain set of um, people. If you're going to run against SMGs with it, um, you're just going to get absolutely demolished. If you meet a guy in a one-on-one -on -one situation, absolutely no chance you're going to take him out with an M14. Well, there is a chance, but it's incredibly unlikely, um, especially if it's against a guy with an SMG. But the map, but the gun can be quite good if you're taking people out who sort of have their back turns here. You can usually take them out in like two shots pretty quickly. Um, God, that's a bit fancy how he pulls those guns out. It's a little bit fancy, a little bit fancy dancy if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm still playing this game. It's it's definitely, definitely getting a lot more boring for me now. I mean, I've got a lot more out of this game than I thought I would now, honestly. I thought I got like a week out of it and I'd be done. Um, but I'm still playing it. Sort of not as often as I did the first couple of days, but I'm still playing it, which surprises me. And especially since it's called Modern Warfare. Usually I sort of put those games down straight away. Well, not Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was so good. Why can't they just release the exact same game? But they don't even have to do anything to it. Just re-release it and I'll play it. Just the exact same game. Put it back on the shelf at 40 quid. Not even 20 quid or whatever it is now. Just bang it back up to 40 quid. 
um, for the sake of it, reset all the stats. Everyone starts jumping on that game again, and I'll just enjoy it um, because it is such such a good game. Uh, especially if it had like new maps and things, but they would never do that. Never. They're just too stupid to do something like that. Cause the maps on this game are so bad. They really are absolutely terrible. Um, and this is what sort of spoiling the game for me. I think the maps I can just never seem to. I can never seem to like play well on them. Really, I don't really know what to. I like really how to play them because they're so random. There's so many corridors and corners and alleyways and all sorts where you can just get shot in the back just constantly. And that's like 99% of my deaths on this game when I, when I get shot in the back and um, when a guy sneaks around or crawls through a little hole between a window. And you know, it's just it's very frustrating. Um, and I wish they would get someone who can design some decent maps. Um, such as whoever designed the COD 4 map, because clearly he's gone missing down the line somewhere after Activision. I don't know, but Activision like, fired everyone or something, I'm not sure what the story was, but clearly he was one of those, and he's no longer designing these great maps. Treyarch make good maps as well, for the most part. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the World at War maps they did, not so much the Black Ops ones, I didn't really, I mean, I just didn't really like Black Ops in general, so that didn't really help the case, but I think their map design was a lot better than this game. This game's terrible. Um, but yeah, my overall opinions of this game are still, I still rate it higher than Black Ops and higher than Modern Warfare 2, in terms of how good the actual game is. Um, I mean, it's sort of like, this is how I sort of explain this game to people, it's, it's like, if you've ever been abroad, if you've ever been on holiday to know, Spain or somewhere, and you ask for a Coke at a bar, not cocaine, actual, a glass of Coke, and you, um, not sure why you would ask for cocaine at a bar in Spain. Probably, probably get some handcuffs in return. But if you um, ask for like a coke abroad, you'll get like a glass of this watered down, shitty cocktail of a drink. And um, that's basically what this game is. Only it's not shitty. It's um, just a watered down Modern Warfare 2. But what is good? I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, what is healthy? And that's exactly what this game is. It's a healthy Modern Warfare 2. Um, so yeah, 13 fours final score with the scar L. Um, leave a comment if you want, and leave a rating if you want, and um, goodbye.